How's it going everyone? Welcome back. Hopefully everyone's holidays have been going well thus far. We're going to talk about the Cincinnati Reds closing job. As we know, Iglesias out the door, gone, see you later. That means we have an opening here. We've already heard David Bell hint at three players that are strong candidates to get a chance at the closing job. Lucas Sims, TJ Antone, and Ann or Amir Garrett, Anton Garrett, that would have been the name. Amir Garrett there for these Cincinnati Bengals. They're going to go through each one of these who we think has got the most likely chance here of coming up with that closer job. I mean, we're going to start with TJ Antone. Antone was that real wild card, if you will, for the Reds in 2020. I don't know if anyone really, again, you didn't really know what we was going to be getting from him. And he came in as that bridge starter guy there to start the season. You didn't expect anything stellar from him. To be completely frank, at least that was my personal thought. Didn't, much, didn't expect anything stellar, but you hoped he could go out there and log enough innings to start the game to where the bullpen wouldn't be you know, heavily utilized, and he could potentially keep the game within striking distance for this Reds offense. And boy, did he do that and then some. Granted, he, you know, again, only pitched in four games all year that the Reds won. It really did feel like he was a reliable, a trustworthy arm when he went out there this season. His only issue was, again, going deep into games, which obviously not a concern if you're going to go take a closer role here. It's the right thing to do here by Bell to give this man at least a crack at the back end of the pen after finishing the 2020 season with a 2.80 ERA and a 1.02 whip. How about Lucas Sims, though? In a year, I think he went into the season feeling pretty good about the back end of this Reds bullpen. A back end that didn't include Sims... Boy, did things fall apart quickly and in a gut-wrenching fashion for this Reds team. But Sims would really come in to provide some reliable bullpen work finishing the season with a 2.45 ERA, a 0.935 whip, and striking out just under 12 batters per nine innings in his 25 innings of work, only allowing runs in three appearances this season, including some big innings logged in playoffs there for these Reds. Was a two and two thirds, five Ks, scoreless ball against those Braves. Sims has a real shot to close his role here, and there's a good reason to believe he could see a shot at it. But Amir Garrett, I mean, let's be honest here. I think it would take some sort of crazy uh, spring training performance for this not to be a slam dunk job given to Amir Garrett here. He's got the best stuff in the pen, and he's got everything you want in a closer. He's already come out and said, hey, I'm taking a closer's job. Most things aren't earned. Nothing's given. An interesting quote, by the way, by Amir Garrett there, referencing back to that what, 2018 season there where he thought he had a really stellar preseason or spring training, should have had the fifth spot in the rotation, didn't quite end up that way there. So probably a little bit of hint at that there for the guy. Nonetheless, though, dominant. Dominant in this pen was Amir Garrett this season. Lefties were 1 for 23 versus him this past season. He retired, what, the first batter 18 out of 21 attempts this year. Again, something you love out of a closer. You don't want this guy going out there putting guys on base. You don't want to give any sort of hope to that other team. You lock him down 18 out of 21 times, you're doing something right there. And again, I can't tell you enough. Confidence, confidence, and confidence. This man's got all the confidence in the world. He's not afraid to say it. He is wanting this closer job. He's coming after it. He's got that, would you say, cool, calm, and collected confidence in him. Just, he wants it. And that is what you want out of your closer is a guy that's not going to go out there jittery. He's not going to get nervous. He's not going to break down. That is a pressure-packed time of the game. And you want the man out there that's going to be cool, calm, and collected. And Amir Garrett appears to be that guy. Now a 3.03 ERA in 74 innings pitched the past two seasons, striking out 12.6 in that time. I feel like Amir Garrett's the front runner here. We'll see, though. Maybe they try to do something different because he's that left-hander out of the bullpen there. We'll see. Love your guys' thoughts. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.